In the northern hemisphere, winter can be long and tough, especially the more northern places. Days are much shorter and the nights are much longer and cold. While most birds leave these harsh parts for winter, many others stay, daring to tough it out. It's remarkable to say the least how they manage to survive. Even more remarkable are the little guys like chickadees, downy woodpeckers, and red poles, to name a few. You really have to stand in awe at their ability to survive in such a climate as this. One thing I noticed from the beginning when I started watching birds very closely, and especially after I was able to discern who was male and who was female, is that males are quite dominant and females are subordinate. When hand-feeding chickadees or nuthatches, for an example, I noticed that males would dominate females, causing them to leave my hand, sometimes without them managing to get a seed. Males have priority over food sources. Luckily, I had plenty of seeds to go around, assuring that even the subordinate birds would get their share. But what about the subordinate females who don't have access to a sufficient food source? Well, it actually might put them in danger. On cold winter nights, birds like chickadees, red poles, or downy woodpeckers, to name a few, have the ability to regulate their own body temperature, lowering it by as much as 10 degrees or more. They do this to save energy and thus increase their chances of surviving. It's a great strategy during harsh weather when there isn't much food available. However, it comes at a cost. Lowering their body temperature makes them lethargic and it makes it easier for predators to prey on them. So for the subordinate birds, females in this case, being prevented from getting food can be tough for them and maybe even life-threatening. Luckily though, feeders can help them over winter. Researchers at Lund University set up feeders in a coniferous forest during winter for great tits. One part of the forest had bird feeders and another area didn't. The researchers then measured and compared the bird's body temperature at night of the two different areas. What they found was that females who had access to extra food in winter did not reduce their body temperature at night as much as females who received no supplemental food. For males, though, there was no difference in body temperature response. Why there wasn't a difference in males seems to be because males are dominant and as a result manage to secure sufficient food regardless of how much is available. Whereas females, being subordinate, do not have priority access to food. That means if there is only a little food, males have priority and ensure that they eat enough to maintain a high body temperature, and the females lose out on that. All birds benefit from feeders, but it seems the ones that really count on them are the females, over winter at least. If this applies for great tits, then it also applies for chickadees and other small birds that can lower their body temperature on cold winter nights when there isn't much food available. Researchers pointed out that the study was carried out in a forest, and therefore it's uncertain whether bird feeding in cities is always good in general. But I know for me, in a small town close to forests, it's just another reason to keep the feeders going over winter, particularly when it gets really cold or stormy. So that's a little bit of information I found that I thought would be worth sharing with you, especially since winter is around the corner. I haven't kept the feeders going over winter for a couple of years, but this year I will, and I'll be sure to put out high-energy suet and black oil sunflower seeds, mainly for the chickadees and other little guys since they have it the hardest but it's worth noting that they do all struggle. Will you be doing the same? And what do you think about the findings in this new research? Has it made you feel more for the females? It certainly has for me, but I have always noticed that females don't have priority access to food, so I've always went out of my way to make sure they get extra food. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. And as always, thanks so much for all of your support and for checking out this little video. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Happy birding. Thank you.